Advanced Tags in HTML5 Chapter 7 Advanced Tags in HTML5 We have learnt about many tags in HTML5 in the previous grades. In this chapter, we will learn about more tags to make attractive web pages. Inserting an image We can insert images, drawings, paintings, charts, etc. to enhance the appearance of a web page. We use the IMG tag to insert images in HTML. IMG tag has the following attributes. SRC We use this attribute to specify the source or URL of the image that is to be inserted into the web page. Height we specify the height of the image using this attribute. Width. We specify the width of the image using this attribute. Align. We use this attribute to specify the position, left, right, center, bottom, top, of the image according to the text placed next to it. Border. We specify the border thickness for the image using this attribute. Alt. This attribute displays the alternate text in case the image does not appear on the web page. Example. IMG SRC is equal to flowers.jpg with is equal to 40% height is equal to 20% align is equal to center border is equal to to alt is equal to image not found. Code Output Linking web pages A website is a collection of related web pages. Each web page contains specific information. These web pages are linked using hyperlinks in HTML. Hyperlinks appear in blue color. Once we click on a hyperlink, it turns purple in color and we are redirected to a web page containing the information. There are two types of linking in HTML. Interlinking. The process of linking the components of the same web page is known as interlinking. Interlinking The process of linking a web page to another web page of the same or different website is known as intralinking. Anchor tag We use the anchor tag to create hyperlinks in HTML web pages. It is a container tag in which the hyperlink text can be an image or text. We use it as a hyperlink text A. A tag has the following attributes. href. href stands for hypertext reference. This attribute specifies the URL of the web page to create links. Target. It specifies the name or keyword which indicates where the link will open. It takes any one of these values. Underscore blank opens the link in a new tab or window of the browser. Underscore parent opens the link in the parent tab or window of the browser. Underscore self opens the link in the current tab or window of the browser. Underscore top opens the link in the top frame, i.e. the full browser tab or window. Syntax of hyperlink. A href is equal to URL target is equal to underscore blank link texta. Let us create the home page of easy cooking website. Code. Output. In the previous output, we created five hyperlinks. Each hyperlink is related to a web page. Let us create web page for the hyperlinks. Code for each hyperlink should be saved with the same file name as the hyperlink name as mentioned in the main homepage coding. Example, the following code for classic marinara sauce must be saved as classic marinara sauce.html on the system. Code 
The back link will redirect you to the home page only if the link specified in the anchor tag is same as the saved file name of home page code, i.e. hyperlink.html. Output Internal linking The hyperlink points to a specific section within the same document or web page in internal linking. This proves to be helpful when there are several headings in a document. We can simply click on a heading to directly reach the information related to it on the same web page. Observe the following code for internal linking. We use the anchor tag for internal linking. Similar to hyperlinks, we create specific names for each heading on the web page. The specific names or labels begin with the hash symbol. Syntax for internal linking, ahref is equal to hash name heading 1a. While adding related content for each heading, we use the anchor tag again to link them together. The keyword ID is used along with the specific name, without the hash symbol, for the particular heading. Syntax for internal linking. A ID is equal to name heading 1A. Observe the following example. Similarly, write the code for all headings. Code. Output. When we click on the heading chapter 6, we will automatically reach the related information for chapter 6 without scrolling. CSS properties for hyperlinks. There are a few CSS properties which can be applied to hyperlinks to change their appearance. A. Link sets the style for an unvisited link. A. Visited sets the style for a visited link. A. Hover changes the link appearance when the user hovers the mouse over it. A. Active changes the link appearance when the user clicks on it. Code A. Link Output A. Visited Output A. Hover Output A. Active Output Button Links We can display the links as buttons using CSS properties. Observe the following code and output as an example. Code Output Inserting audio We use the audio tag to insert an audio in an HTML document. Observe the following code and output as an example. Code Output Inserting video We use the video tag to insert a video in an HTML document. Observe the following code and output as an example. Code Output Frames In HTML, we can insert more than one web page on a single screen of the web browser. We display web pages in such a way, using frames. In HTML, the iframe tag enables us to divide the browser window into various sections. iframe stands for inline frame. iframe has the following attributes. src. We specify the source or URL of the image that is to be inserted into the web page. Height. We specify the height of the frame using this attribute. Width. We specify the width of the frame using this attribute. Name. We specify the name of the frame using this attribute. Observe the following code and output using iframe tag. Code. Output. Creating forms. A form is used to derive information from the user based on various fields. Forms are used for various purposes such as registration, login and feedback. 
In HTML, we can create forms using the form tag, input tag, label tag, text area tag, and the select tag. Form tag. The form tag is used to create the border of the form on the web page. It is a container tag, i.e., it requires an opening tag form and a closing tag form. It has the following attributes. Action. It specifies the action which will take place once the form values are submitted. It derives the email address or the URL of another web page to receive information. Method. It specifies the method which will be used by the form to accept the values entered in the form fields. The most common values used for this attribute are post and get. Input tag. Input tag is the most important element of a form. It enables us to create controls or fields to derive input values from the user in the form of text, selection and click. This tag has the following attributes. Type. We specify the type of field to create in the form using this attribute. It has the following predefined values. Text. It creates a text box field. It is the default value of this attribute. Radio. It inserts a radio button control which allows the user to select only one option from a set of options. Checkbox. It inserts a checkbox control which allows the user to select multiple options from a set of options. Button. It inserts an action button control. It performs an action when the user clicks on it. Submit. It inserts a submit button control. It is used to save all the values entered in the form to a specified URL or email address. Reset. It inserts a reset button control. This button clears all the entered values from the form. Password. It inserts a password field. It is similar to a text box field, but the values entered by the user in this field are concealed with a symbol in order to protect the privacy of the user. Name. This attribute is used to specify the name of the field on the web page. Value. This attribute specifies the default value of the field. ID. It defines the name of the field when used with the label tag. Syntax of input tag. Input attribute is equal to value ID is equal to value name is equal to value. Label tag. The label tag defines a label for various form elements. It has for attribute which should be equal to the ID attribute of the input tag to bind them together. Observe the following code and output for creating a form in HTML. Code. Output. Text area tag. The text area tag is used to insert multiline text boxes which enable the user to enter longer text values. We can specify the number of rows and columns for the text box by using rows and calls attributes of this tag. Syntax text area rows is equal to 3 calls is equal to 50. Select tag. We use select tag to display multiple options for the user in a drop-down menu. The ID attribute is needed to associate the drop-down list with a label. The option tags inside the select tag specify the options available in the drop-down list. It is used with the option tag to create a drop-down list. Syntax. Select. Option 1. Option 2. Option 3. Select. Code. Output.